In this clip, I'll be explaining to you the shares of the husband and wife. Okay, so let me just highlight the husband and the wife. So here's the husband. Okay, so if the de this is the deceased, if the deceased is a female, then if she has a husband, this is the husband. And the wife, let me choose another color for her. Okay, the wife is here. So I'll be talking to you about these two uh, types of is. Now let me just rub out the rest of these because these aren't really very important. Okay, the reds, because uh, as long as the greens exist, the reds don't really get a share. So let me just rub all these out. And actually, let me just rub out all those who are irrelevant. So I'm going to rub out the reds plus those who are irrelevant. Okay, there's many people who are irrelevant in this. And that's because the, uh, the husband and wife's share all depends upon the existence of the children. Now, here's the husband. Let's start with the husband. So let's say if the children or the grandchildren exist. So let's say children or grandchildren. Now grandchildren are here and they are the children of the son. Okay, the children of the son. So if they exist, then the husband will receive a quarter. So children exist, husband gets a quarter. And if the children don't exist, if there's no children or there's no grandchildren, then the husband will receive half so if they are children he receives a quarter and if there's no children he receives a half basically what this means uh, if you draw this out if they are children then his share will be a quarter so this is the whole what the deceased has left behind okay the wife is left behind and the husband will receive a quarter of her wealth if children exist and if no children exist, there's no children at all, then she, he'll receive a half, a half of the wife's or the deceased's wealth. Okay, now let's do the other way around. Let's do it for the wife. So let's say same two scenarios. If the children exist or grandchildren exist, then the wife receives an eighth. And if no children exist or no grandchildren exist then the wife will receive a quarter so basically how this works is we have a table here or a box and we divide it okay if children exist then she receives one portion of those eight boxes so we have eight boxes here she receives one portion of that this is the wealth of the deceased and if there exists no children or no grandchildren, no grandchildren, no children at all, then she receives a quarter, okay, which is two of these boxes because two eighths is a quarter. Two eighths is a quarter. So basically, if the children, you probably notice the children don't exist, the husband and wife tend to have more of a share. They receive more of a share if there's no children, and if there are children, their share is less. Now, how do we work this out? This I'll be explaining in future clips, clips to come, how the distribution is done. Uh, for now, all you have to remember is the different types of portions that each person has. One thing, just before I forget, when we talk about the children, the existence of children, it's the children of the deceased not necessarily the children of the husband and wife. What I mean by that, let's say, for example, this w wife here has children from another husband. She married before another man. She has children from him. The existence or absence of those children will not affect the shares here. So it's talking about the existence of this person's children. 